from throwing up gang signs to grabbing your d These are the NBA's banned celebrations. And Jimmy Butler's taunt made me think basketball gets him a little too excited. Cause during the first round of the playoffs, Jimmy was sidelined for game five. And after Jimmy's teammates splashed a three, that's when he whipped it out. Kaboom. Max Struess to the rescue. Uh, Jimmy? You're on live TV, not OnlyFans. And well, the NBA wasn't trying to pay for Jimmy's subscription. Instead, they made Jimmy give them the bag, finding him 15K. And Jimmy blamed his celebration on his coach? It's Bo's fault. He always says to celebrate everybody else's success. Max going to 10-0 run. I celebrate. I get fine. Yeah. Now, celebrating because your coach told you to, I mean, that's one thing. At least Jimmy's celebration didn't show the world what he was packing. Like LeBron James taunt. Yeah. LeBron was amped. Because all night long, he couldn't be stopped. And with a minute left, this became the most viral play of the night. But hitting that three isn't what pissed everyone off. It was LeBron's celebration. See, he busted out an infamous taunt that only NBA legends were known for. Sam Cassell, Klay Thompson, Fred Van Fleet, even Kobe made it popular. The Big Balls Dance. So LeBron should have known running down the court doing this would cost him more than a few racks. Cause not only did he get fined, one of the NBA's greatest players ever put LeBron on blast. LeBron was fined $15,000 for doing a big ball stance after the Lakers win over the Pistons. Why do you need to do a stupid childish dance and disrespect the other team on the court? It doesn't make sense. Goats don't dance. Kareem's right, man. This is the NBA, not the BBC. We ain't trying to see all that. But LeBron was just having fun. At least he wasn't on live TV celebrating a murder like Dwayne Wade. Low key, Wade ain't who you think he is. We're talking about a man who grew up in shy rack. Dude was born to be a shooter. And well, during his first NBA game back in his hometown, with 30 seconds to go, Wade went for the kill. Damn, Wade, that's cold. But even though it was just a celebration, the NBA was furious. Because just a few years before, Kevin Durant sparked a worldwide controversy when he did the celebration. So when the league saw Wade slash his throat, they not only forced him to tweet out an apology, they slapped him with a $25,000 fine. But Wade's celebration ain't the only one that turned violent. Gerald Green's taunt came straight out of GTA. And I think he took shooting his shot a little too literally. Cause after knocking down his first jumper, dude raised his trigger fingers and sniped the crowd. But Green was just getting started. Cause after his second shot, dude really pulled out a Draco in the middle of an NBA game. Now, Green didn't mean anything serious, but the NBA didn't care what he was thinking. All they saw was a maniac shooting weapons at the crowd. So after the game, they find him 25 bands for his illegal celebration. But after, Green hopped on the gram to show how much he cared, saying, cost me 25, might as well post it. Dude's tripping, man. But see, that taunt inspired players for years, like Josh Jackson. Cause this dude got so fed up with fans clowning him, he shot him up. And after, Josh straight up lied when asked if he was pulling the trigger. He really said, that's what most people thought I was doing, but I, I actually wasn't. Like what? What else could that have been? A spray bottle? Josh, be honest, man. You trying to make fans wet like Dwight Howard's celebration? You know, the time his celebration let everyone know he's a freak. Cause one game, the Hornets ran a fast break and Dwight slammed it home. And after he tied the game, you could tell he was feeling himself a little too much. Yeah, dude let the crowd know he ain't just a freak on the court. Now, I personally thought the celebration was funny. But the NBA thought it was a little weird that a grown ass man was tonguing his fingers on live TV. So they slapped him with a $35,000 fine. But at least Dwight only celebrated once, cause Kyrie Irving went all out, doing four band celebrations in a single game. Kyrie came into a rivalry against his former Celtics roster. And cause he left them on bad terms, the fans were still butthurt. So they clowned him all night long. At halftime, they even followed him to the locker room roasting him. Kyrie, stop the hoop, please. That's my kid, man. Don't be like Kyrie, man. Subscribe.
But after halftime, the fans and Kyrie got even more disrespectful. In the third quarter, Kyrie made a clutch play and let the fans know what's good. Irving fires away. Got it! A two-pointer for Kyrie Irving. And I think he might have saluted them with a hand signal right there. Damn, but disrespecting the fans twice? That wasn't enough. Later in the fourth, Kyrie heard the crowd still trying to get in his head. And when he was on the sidelines, he not only flipped off the fans, he mocked them for crying. Now at this point, Kyrie was definitely getting fined. But in the post-game interview, he made sure his words cost him $50,000. When people start yelling p and p and f you and all this stuff, it's but so much you can take. You know, we're the ones expected to be docile and be humble and take a humble approach. Nah, f that's the playoffs. But 50K is nothing to Kyrie. He's never afraid to let the world know what he's repping. And speaking of that, John Wall's celebration shows he's repping the gang life. During Wall's time with the Wizards, he was a different breed. He quickly became one of the league's most dominant guards, but also went viral time and time again for throwing up his trademark celebration. But as famous as Wall's celebration was, it actually ruined his career. In 2020, Wall hadn't played for two years due to an injury, so the Wizards expected their $170 million investment to focus on recovering. But during that time, Wall traveled to New York City to celebrate his birthday, where all of a sudden, he got exposed. With cameras flashing and diamonds dancing, Wall was recorded hanging with known members of the Blood Gang. In the viral clip, Wall was seen throwing up his infamous celebration, and now, the world found out his signs weren't just celebrating three-pointers. He was gang-affiliated. So, the Wizards were forced to take action. Immediately after the clip spread all over the internet, not only did they force Wall to apologize on Twitter, the team still had a bad taste in their mouth for affiliating with a gang member. So, ownership instantly put Wall on the trade block and dealt him to the Rockets for Russell Westbrook. Damn. Who would have thought just throwing up a celebration would ruin a career? Well, even getting traded doesn't compare to the celebration that cost the Mavericks a chance at a championship. Throughout the 2022 playoffs, it basically became the Mavericks special to get fined every night. But what's crazy is, it wasn't even the players on the court's fault. Throughout their playoff series, the Mavericks bench was quote unquote out of control, jumping around, taunting, and stepping over the lines. Now, the Mavericks bench celebrations were one thing, but one of the biggest controversies came because of a player's shirt? Yeah, during game two of the Warriors Mavericks series, Teo Pinson caused chaos. See, the Warriors were wearing white jerseys, and during a fast-paced play, Teo was standing up looking like a Warriors player. So, Steph passed the ball right out of bounds. And once Teo saw that, he knew his fit could give the Mavs a chance of winning the series. So the very next game, Teo came in dressed the exact same way. But right before tip-off, a ref caught on and told him to change. And well, dude didn't listen. Instead, he hopped on Twitter to troll the ref and even got fans to join in. So, all cause of him and the bench going crazy, the Mavs racked up fines for over $175,000. But taunting a team, I mean, that ain't as bad as the time LeBron, Harden, and Melo's celebrations nearly caused World War III. Coming into the NBA Global Games, the Cavs and Heat planned on traveling to Rio for a preseason clash. When out of nowhere, the NBA was issued a warning. Because of a celebration made popular by LeBron, Harden, and Melo, the entire country of Brazil was pissed. See, NBA players are known to throw up a hand sign after hitting a three-pointer. LeBron's three goggles, Melo's three to the dome, Harden's whatever the hell this is. And what seemed like a harmless way of representing a cash three throughout the rest of the world, it had a completely different meaning. In Brazil, throwing up three fingers is commonly known as fuck you or fuck off. And I mean, that ain't worse than what I used to hear in MW2 lobbies. I'm a riot shield. I'm a pussy that use riot shield. But the NBA wasn't trying to let a stupid taunt cause World War III. So the celebration was banned. But you want to know what else should be banned? LeBron James. Because he set such an embarrassing record, it should be illegal. And don't even get me started on James Harden. Just click this video right here.